Professor Bolajio Wasanui, the Chairman, Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, has stressed the need for better living wages as an antidote to corrupt practices in the civil service. Owasanui said this in Abuja at a National Policy Dialogue on Living Wages and Corruption in Nigeria. The dialogue is organized by ICPC in collaboration with the Anti-Corruption Academy of Nigeria and Michael Imudu National Institute for Labor Studies. We have neglected a fundamental competitive factor like the welfare of public servants, who, and has indeed over time, had fatal consequences in the well being of the nation. I think that it is not rocket science where we think of the fact that whatever government programs are there to be delivered to the public service. Now, if public service are paid peanuts, then of course you are going to get monkey's service. Uh, it's important, therefore, that the government truly reflect uh, in ensuring that uh, the public service is well remunerated. And we're very happy that this exactly is what the current government of President Bola and is doing. Research shows that widespread corruption in the public service creates corruption in building social norms that make public servants and citizens normalize the expectation and the acceptance of rights while carrying on their federal duty. Similarly, Minister of Labor and Employment, Simon Lalong, represented by Mr. Alex Olebi, noted that poor reward systems contributed to sharp practices outside of the existence of greed and need-based corrupt tendencies by individuals. As you are all aware, pure, uh, poor reward systems contribute to sharp practices outside of existence of greed and need this corrupt tendency by individuals. This order manifests the surveillance of inequality, lack of quality services, lack of investment by organizations resulting in new economic growth and development among others. But against this background, track, I urge all leaders of thought participating in this dialogue to utilize this opportunity to extensively demonstrate on which and means, many ways issues can be handled to prevent corruption in and outside the workplace for social economic development in the interest of all our countries. The head of civil service of the Federation, Dr. Falasha Deesan, represented by Mr. Mohammed Musa, Director of Service Delivery in the Office of the HOSF, reiterated the government's commitment to workers' welfare. And in the we are trying our best to make sure that we have the better service for all of the president of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Joe Ajeru, represented by Comrade Howard Mustafa, had this to say. The wages is by workers to workers' rights. Workers' rights for us basically is about decent work, and decent work is basically about decent wage. It's about the right of workers to appreciate. It's about the right of workers to even protest when they don't feel comfortable with what is happening in their workplace. In his remarks, the president of Trade Union Congress, Festus Osifu, represented by Dr. Tommy Atim, said better living wages must be implemented to make Nigerian workers articulate. Especially the implementation of government policy to take a fiscal look at where we are and where we ought to be and where we are going to as workers because we have a right. And we believe that if a right is not well attended to, well paid for, well gathered for, it therefore means that we are talking corruption as a little. How do we think that a worker can pay his house rent? How do you think a worker can pay the children's school fees? How do you think a worker can care for even by African standard and culture, extended families? 
without living wage. Your Excellencies, I want to quit. For us to make Nigerian workers very accurate and productive, the living wage is very important. Also, Daphil Tobo, a professor of industrial relations in a keynote address, called for adequate remuneration for public servants to ensure their commitment to service. To give workers and their families the means to maintain the decent standards of living by affording the work of housing, health, food, education, transport mobility, and other basic necessities. Now, they have the arguments over the decades the usefulness of a living wage. For those in favor, it is the benefits the companies, other public or private, because some of the money is taken away from the shoulder by the state, whether at the federal, state, or local government level. So if this is corporate turnover, employees are more much happier and this will start productivity. 